In this video we're going to take a look at the hidden graph that appears on the drawing area when we draw with a turtle in Python. Turtle graphics are vector graphics using the turtle as a relative cursor upon a Cartesian plane. Now that's quite a mouthful. Let's see if we can consider this more simply. Think of the turtle having its position defined by a background that is a graph which is hidden from view. Now this is what I'm going to take forward in this video. Let's consider a graph and we can see here that I've drawn the axis of the graph and now I'm going to label it appropriately with X and Y as you can see here. Now if you consider this part of the line, that's all the positive values of X. This represents all the negative values of X. This the positive values of Y and this the negative values of Y. I'll now mark off the axis as can be seen here with equal spaces and if we now attach numbers to each of these markings we can see for the x, positive x, we've got plus 100, plus 200, plus 300 and plus 400. If we consider the negative part of the graph we can see we go minus 100, minus 200, minus 300 to minus 400. If we now consider the positive y axis of the graph graph we can see that that goes up 100, 200 and 300 and you can see they're all positive. If we consider the negative y-axis we can see they're minus 100, minus 200 and minus 300. Now I've shown the x going up to 400 and the y going up to 300 but of course we could extend the graph to much bigger numbers if we so wished. Now I'm now going to consider a point in the plane, in other words a point defined by the graph that you're looking at and I'm going to consider this point that's appearing now. Where's its position? Well what you do, you go to the dot as it is in this case and you draw a line down to the x-axis as you can see here and that corresponds to plus 300 on the x-axis. Then we go across to the y-axis as you can see by that dotted line and that appears at plus 200. So that dot is defined by the x and the y position, in other words the coordinate. And we can see that coordinate position here. And we can see the 300 is first, followed by the 200, and there's a comma in between, and they appear in brackets. Now what appears first is the x value, and what appears second is the y value. So this dot is defined by this here, 300, 200, with a comma in between. Of course, within Python, we'll see later that whereas I've shown this as 300 and 200, which if we were to think about what that would be in Python, it would be an integer, Python treats these coordinates as shown here. It takes the 300 but it gives room for some decimal fraction positions. But this is still 300, there's no tenths and there's no one hundredths, that's what this is meaning here. And this is 200 because we can see what comes after the decimal point is nothing. So this dot is defined in Python by this coordinate position here. Now let's consider the position of this dot here and you can see it's come to rest in the origin of the graph which means it hasn't moved along the x-axis in either direction and it hasn't moved along the y-axis in either direction. So it is still at point zero on the x-axis and point zero on the y-axis. Consequently the coordinate position of this is shown here. It's zero zero and of course in Python when we're using turtle the coordinate position will have this value here we can see it's zero in both cases but we can also see that we have these representing room for the decimal fractions let's now consider the following point we will come down with the dotted line to the x-axis we can see that stops at minus 200 and we'll go across to the y-axis and we can see that goes to plus 300. Consequently, the coordinate position for this is shown here. It's minus 200, which represents the position on the x-axis, and it's in the negative bit of the x-axis. And of course, it shows 300 because it's in the positive bit of the y-axis. And in Python, when we're using turtle, the coordinate position will look like this, and we can see we have positions for the decimal fractions again.
Let's now consider the position of this and we go up with the dotted line to the x-axis again. We go to the y-axis with the dotted line and we can see in this case that we're here on the x-axis which is between the minus 200 and the minus 300 and that is minus 250. This one here, well it's between the minus 100 and the minus 200 and that one is therefore minus 150. So the coordinate position for this dot is shown here, minus 250 and minus 150. The minus 250 is the x position and the minus 150 is the y position. And of course in Python that would look like this and we can see again we have a position for the decimal fraction. Let's now consider the position of the dot that's appearing here. Where is that in the plane? Well again we draw up to the x axis and we draw across to the y axis. And on the x axis we can see the dotted line goes up to the 400 and on the y axis it goes to the minus 100. So the coordinate position for this dot is shown here and you can see we have the 400 and the minus 100. Now at this point I would like to point out that we have 400 here, we haven't put the plus sign in front of it. If a sign doesn't appear in front of the number it's implied that it's positive. But if you want you can put a plus sign in front of it. But if you haven't got the plus sign there it means it's plus. If it's negative well you have to show the negative symbol as you can see it here. Now the coordinate position as defined within the Python programming language when we're using turtle is shown here and we can still see we have 400 and here we've got room for some decimal fractions. Here we can still see we've got minus 100 but there's room for some decimal fractions as part of the number. So this is the coordinate position here for this dot. This graph has four distinct areas referred to as quadrants. This shaded area is regarded as the first quadrant and any coordinate position in here will have a positive value of x and a positive value of y. Going anti-clockwise, the next area I'm going to refer to is this one here. Now any coordinate position within this area will have a negative value of x and a positive value of y. Continuing in the anti-clockwise direction we will come to the third quadrant as shown by this shaded area and any coordinate position in this area will have a negative value of x and a negative value of y. Continuing in the anti-clockwise direction we will come to the fourth quadrant and any coordinate position in here will have a positive value of x and a negative value of why? On this slide you can see examples of all of the positions that I've shown in this video. You can see I have the dot appearing in each of the four quadrants and we also have a dot appearing at the origin. If I consider this one we know that in the first quadrant and that will have positive values for x and y as we can see here. If I look at this one it's in the third quadrant and here we will know we will have negative values of x and y as can be seen here. Let's now move over to a Python program and this snippet of code here shows us an example of a Python program that's going to use Turtle. This line we can see we're importing the Turtle module. This line is creating an instance of the Turtle class that is assigned to my Turtle. So my Turtle will now be the Turtle that's used for this small program. On this line you can see that I'm taking the instance of the turtle class and I'm invoking this method which is the shape method which sets the turtle to a circle. This line will create a drawing area that is the screen onto which I will be doing the various drawings with the turtle. When this program executes what we're going to see is this and you can see that we have the circle in the center of the screen. Now if we consider what we're looking at here, what we're looking at as illustrated by this callout box is the screen, i.e. the drawing area that I defined on 
this line. If we consider the turtle and its position, it's at x equals 0, y equals 0. In other words, its coordinate position is the origin of the graph. Now clearly the graph isn't shown here, so we have to imagine the graph is there. So what I'll do, I'll put the graph in place, and this is what we have to imagine in place whenever we do turtle graphics. And the turtle shown here as a circle is at the origin of this graph, and as a consequence, its coordinate position is 0, 0. Of course, the coordinate position within Python will look like this here. It'll have the 0, and of course, we have room for any decimal fractions associated with the coordinate position. And as this turtle is at the center of the graph, at the origin of the graph, this is the coordinate position for the turtle. Let's now consider this snippet of code, which is identical to what we've just been considering, apart from the fact that here you can see instead of having a circle there, I have turtle, which means that the shape of the turtle when I run this program will be that of a turtle. So let's have a look at the runtime. And there you can see the runtime, and here you can see we have the turtle. Same thing applies here, however. We know this is the screen, the drawing area, as defined by this line. And if you look at the turtle, it is at position where x is 0 and y is 0. So the coordinate position is 0, 0. And it's important to remember this. When you write a turtle program, the turtle will always start at the origin of the xy graph that we've been considering in this video. Of course, we don't see the graph. It's not part of the drawing area. But as a programmer, we have to imagine it's there. So I'm just going to illustrate that imagination, if you like, by showing what we should be thinking of as what's behind this turtle. And you can see we have the axis shown here. And we can see that the turtle is at the origin, at the origin where x is 0 and y is 0. In other words, the turtle has been placed in the middle and has not been moved yet. And it's important that we think of the coordinate position of the turtle, and we know it's at position 0, 0, which in Python will look like this with the appropriate places for decimal fractions. Now, the videos on turtle graphics that follow this video will frequently refer back to this graph. So I strongly recommend that you get to grips with what is the Cartesian plane and understand what we mean by the four quadrants and consider the values of the coordinates that can have positive values and negative values as defined by the quadrants that you saw in this video. But leave with this that when you run a program that creates a turtle, it'll always take up this position at the origin of the graph. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video?